Hello, hello everyone. I am Melinda Nail Fanatic and thank you for viewing this December 2016 Love, Peace and Happiness general tarot reading for Sun, Moon and Rising Sagittarius. And uh, November 30th sees a new moon in your sign, so Sagittarius. Great time for you to plant seeds. This is your new moon and over the next six months you should see those seeds grow, seeds of intention. And um, by come the culmination of six months, it should be sprouting. So plant it, water it over the next six months, and you should see something sprouting for you. What do you want? What does your heart want? If life went perfectly for you, what would that mean? And now, love source God, what are the messages for my brothers and sisters of humanity viewing the Sagittarius video for their highest, brightest, and lightest good for me to channel and deliver with accuracy, truth, and clarity at this time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. Okay. I don't know why I'm being motivated to speak on the fact that I don't usually do the same spread twice. And I just got the message that Sagittarius likes that. I don't always do the same thing. Okay, here we have the super powerful bonus card. Take notice because this is an energy enhancer. So when that happens, I'm just going to take the first deck card, which is the Ten of Cups. Okay, y'all. Mm, I like what I'm seeing. If you're single, first message up is that you've been single you've been working on yourself and you'll be feeling the need to come out of that state of introspection and actually put yourself out there and connect with people again it will be extremely rewarding and you may be moving into a peaceful harmonious happily family embracing love relationship and for some of you it may mean marriage Avenger comes out. It says, desire to balance the scales of justice, righteousness on behalf of society or oneself. And so here you are. You've gone within yourself and you have a greater understanding of divine principles and unconditional love. And you're just going to go out there and share what you know with others. And so... You're moving away from some difficulties that you've had. And uh, it has to do with, I feel like some of you are grieving the loss of a loved one. And um, I'm not seeing that it's coming in, but that this is something that has already happened. I'm getting very strongly for somebody who's watching this that, you know, you had somebody you loved and something happened and took them away from you and you're left here with this child now. And so for you, it's difficult to look at the child sometimes because you see the parent that is passed in the child's face. And uh, I'm getting this message very strongly that mm, be kind to yourself. You've been through enough. Do not beat yourself up any further. It is not your fault. And, okay, for somebody else, this applies in the sense of you've lost a child or your child has been taken from you or gone away for others of you. These are some um, difficult messages, and so it's got you in this mode of you want things to become balanced. You're wanting things to be made fair. You're even wanting to avenge these things because maybe there, there's some, uh, some difficulty going on. Well, what Love Source is letting you know is to find your center, find your peace. Because if you do this inner work and you go within, you are going to be able to move into a place of greater harmony and peace. And not anything that you feel like you have lost is... It, okay, I'm getting strongly the story of Job in the Bible. If any of you have a biblical background, I'm sure this will apply to those of you who resonate strongly. And you'll understand that he, anything he lost was replaced, I think it was tenfold. 
and all of his children, all of his fortune, all of his wealth and holdings that was lost in his time of mm, testing, of refinement, of character building, of mm, training, spiritual training. Anything that he lost during this time was replaced in multiple. And that's the situation that some of you are finding yourself in. So this is really, really interesting because also I'm getting for some of you that mm, you are actually out there actively looking for situations and circumstances where you can bring a healing, where you can help. Mm, with this being the December time, I feel like some of you are going to go look for somebody's layaway to pay off. I feel like some of you are going to be throwing hundred dollar bills around um, in places where you know that they're going to bless the finder of it. I feel like some of you are going to be throwing your understanding around with the people that come into your path so that you can um, shine the light for them to see um, a better way, a more peaceful way, a more fair and balanced way. And I also see that for some of you, you're looking, oh, some of you are really looking at the patterns of, of society as a whole right now. And you're, you're looking at it knowing that people are in, um, there are a lot of people in a state of sorrow and, and ill spirituality or ill health or just unawareness. And what you're understanding now is that it's a time of awakening. And that with your understanding, you can help promote that. And so what you're going to do is go out there with all of this self-awareness that you have, um, the experiences that helped you become so self-aware, the ways that you have awakened yourself to your true nature, and the things that have helped you. And you're just going to go tell everybody because you want to see emotional harmony. You want to see harmony between your brothers and sisters of mankind. And so, oh, you're going to help them learn to walk on their own two feet. You, I see you mm, symbolically, not literally, but metaphorically, just like my little grandson who's learning to walk on his own, holding hands and saying, oh, okay, come on now. And, but this is in a spiritual sense. So you'll be leading them along as they can handle it because you know that this is a time of awakening and this is the solution to all of the challenges that people are focused on. And you want to help bring balance and new focus to your brothers and sisters of humanity. And it's purely because you love them and you understand that they are you and you are them and all things are connected. And so the better each one is doing, the better the collective is doing, which means the better you are doing. Wow, that was a very beautiful message. And I hope that you found something in that to help stimulate you, motivate you, and inspire you. I appreciate your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. Love, peace, and happiness to you and yours. And of course, me and mine. Until next time.